Friuli Venezia Giulia is tucked away in the top right-hand corner of Italy and it's blissfully free of tourists. But it's full of decadent dishes like this Ciestini di Frico, con polenta e funghi, cheese baskets filled with polenta and mushrooms. And the cheese I'm using is Monteseo from Friuli and it has a slightly nutty, grassy note with a sweet finish. And if you can't find this cheese, Parmigiano will work just as well. This gets baked in the oven to achieve exactly that. Friuli Venezia Giulia is famed for its cornfields. That's why polenta is such a staple in that kitchen. I'm cooking mine in some milk to give a nice creamy finish. And the key to making a perfect polenta is adding a little at a time so that you get the ideal consistency. Because this cornmeal or polenta is very, very absorbent. Now you have to move quite quickly with these because they start to set up as soon as you take them out of the oven. Just drape them over an inverted bowl or a cup. As these cool, they will maintain that basket shape and become nice and crispy. Perfect for my polenta. Now it's important when you're making polenta to stir from time to time to make sure it's not catching on the bottom and scorching. I've also sodied off some wonderful mushrooms, cooked off in a little garlic and oil, and now they need a little seasoning. A little fresh tarragon for those mushrooms. It smells good. Now to finish off my polenta, you've got to add a good little chunk of butter. And to brighten the flavor up, zest of lemon. Now here's a chef's tip for you. What I like to do is take a little polenta on the bottom of the plate. Then I set my basket on top. That little polenta stops the basket from sliding around. Now a little polenta inside the basket. So creamy. And then a few of these beautiful woodsy flavored mushrooms. And I like to add a little prosciutto for its wonderful nutty flavor and silkiness. Sprinkle of cheese. And a few more leaves of tarragon. And what I love about this dish, it's the presentation. That little basket that is full of that polenta. It's a great little vessel that adds crunch and texture to the dish. Soft creamy polenta, crispy cheese basket, and decadent prosciutto. Boy, oh boy, that is good. It is not just about tastes, it's also about texture. The wonderful crispy exterior of that cheese basket and then the creaminess of that soft polenta. That makes an incredible antipasto.